Hey guys, what's up? It's Lacey and today I'm going to be sharing with you some hacks to personalize your rental. I've already showed you guys a lot of my kitchen and what I've done in there. Everything from basically I wrapped my entire kitchen in film and paper. <laughs> so you guys have seen the faux stainless steel. And that's really great, especially for renters who have mismatched appliances and just want them all to match and update it a little bit. And then we also have the faux backsplash, which is also really great and really easy to apply. Supposedly, we can remove it with some heat from a blow dryer, and it's going to remove easily. So we'll find out about that in a future video when I go to demolish my entire kitchen for you guys. We're really going to get in there and test these products out and see if they're renter friendly like they say they are, like they claim to be. And I'm risking my security deposit because I put my faith in these companies. So we'll see. <laughs> then we did the foam marble countertop. So this is great. You can get granite, marble, soapstone. I chose the soapstone. It really transformed my kitchen cabinets on a really little budget. And I really like this product too. I mean, it looked legit. It looked like real soapstone. Another thing that I think is often overlooked but also really underestimated is, is changing out the outlet covers. Just changing them out, adding some nicer ones. I chose this stainless steel one to match my appliances and I really liked the way it looked and it really did make a big difference on a very little budget. Then I picked up this LED under cabinet lights kit and I really liked this. I read a ton of reviews on Amazon before I picked this one. And I went with these because I thought they were really modern and I thought they would look really good in my kitchen. So, and these actually come on a dimmer switch too, so I can make them bright and I can dim them down and create a beautiful ambiance and it's gonna be so beautiful whenever I get to install them. You guys also seen how I transformed my kitchen cabinets using adhesive film and this worked out perfectly. I'm not worried about this damaging my cabinets at all whenever I take it down to move out. It, it, now that we've covered like the outside of the kitchen. We're gonna get into the inside and see how we can personalize them. So I used what I had around. I didn't go out and buy more things just for the sake of a video. Both these products are from Dollar Tree. So one is the actual command hooks and then the other one are these self-adhesive hooks. You don't wanna apply those directly to your cabinets or really anywhere because those suckers are so strong. They will remove part of your wall <laughs> or cabinet or whatever you stick it on. So what I did, I used this faux chalkboard um, adhesive film and I cut out the size that I wanted and then I just stuck it onto the inside of my cabinet and then I used the self-adhesive hooks to hook it onto that and then I just hung up my measuring cups that I use like all the time so that way they're easily accessible and I can get them when I need them especially for my tea my diatomaceous earth thumbs up if you take some diatomaceous woo -woo. Um, and then I just hung up some pictures just to give it a little bit more like personalized feel, you know? If I had like the chalk markers, I would have written something out, you know, like one cup or half a cup or tablespoon, really pretty, but I wasn't going to go out and buy chalk markers for that, but that's definitely an option if you want to do that. For the shelves, you can either take these liners that I got from Dollar Tree like a year ago that I never used, um, and you can just line your shelves with that, and it makes it nice because your cups and mugs and stuff won't slip around. Get some nice coffee mugs, get some that reflect your personality, your favorite color, just anything to bring a little bit more personality into it so that when you open the cabinets and you see your mugs there, you're like, yes, this is me. I love this. It makes for fun conversation. For the shelves underneath, what I did was I took old wrapping paper from my daughter's birthday like two or three years ago that I had been saving because I thought it was really cute. And it's the really thick kind. It's not like the really cheap wrapping paper, although that would work. This stuff's like really nice because it's um it's like glossy on the top and it's really thick. So I just cut the size that I needed and I just put it inside my shelves. And I really like the way it looks. I love color. You guys probably know that by now. And I love weird stuff. And I have so many cabinets in my rental that I just wanted to make this cabinet be fun. So I've got like the ice cream cups up there that I got from Dollar Tree last year. And then I just added my little pineapple tray and I put some of my favorite tea there. And then I just added some yellow plates because I thought it would look pretty for this video. 
And then under the sink, so I added the wrapping paper down at the bottom, but I'm, I really like cleaning products. I, I enjoy cleaning with good products. I love cleaning and I love organizing. So of course I love my pink organizing caddy. And then on the cabinet door to my cleaning supplies underneath my sink, I added some more of that faux chalkboard adhesive. And then I added some of the adhesive hooks. And then I just added my favorite all-purpose cleaner recipe, like little recipe card. And again, if I had chalk markers, I would have used that and like written it out but I think it looks okay. And then I have a little hack for you guys. If you have something that doesn't want to go on those hooks because of where the hole is positioned on it kind of lays funny, what you can do is you can either take a zip tie or one of the price tag tie things, tie it around, and then you can hang it up on those hooks. So that's a little hack for you guys. So there is my kitchen hacks video. I hope that you guys like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.